We've wanted a greenhouse in our raised bed garden since we first laid the garden out. You can see where we left the space for it here in the middle, but there has always been one major hurdle I just couldn't get past, time. I just never seem to have enough of it, and I bet you don't either. But that changes today because I have assembled a crack team of greenhouse builders, and we're gonna try and build a 10 by 12 greenhouse in one day. Also, no saws allowed. First, I have to move this concrete urn out of the way, which weighs a ton. All right, so the next step is I've gotta build this foundation. And I'm not gonna do a regular foundation. I'm gonna use these four by fours and I'm gonna stack them and overlap them. Oh, and by the way, right off the bat, I'm cheating because I'm not considering this foundation build as part of our one day time limit. You can see how these boards are warped pretty bad. Now, when I bought them, they were perfectly straight, but that's part of the deal with stacking them because I can bend them and twist them and get them lined up to make everything nice and straight and level. And if you do have a problem with twists, you can do like I did here, attach a two by four. That'll let you step on the end, give you some leverage and let you get it squared up nice. Now for most people, you're gonna to wanna to lay this out with string so that you have everything square and just where you want it. But I have the advantage of already having my garden here so I can just measure off of that to make sure it's exactly where I want it. Because I like doing things the easy way, I just lifted this one corner up to make sure that everything was level. Then I went around the whole thing with the shovel because it was just so slightly out that I was able to take a small amount out from underneath the entire perimeter. Then we just took a tape measure and made sure that everything was square by measuring corner to corner and bam, there you have it. Next up, I had to drill some holes so that I could put some spikes in the ground to hold everything in place. Yeah, see what it is? I was like, yeah, that's long enough. Yeah, it's long enough the very tip goes through, but not the whole width, so. If I ever completed a project by making only one trip to the hardware store, <laughs> I don't know what I'd do. Same shirt, different day. Right. It's not a drill bit, that's a drill bit. Normally you'd put some rebar down in here, but they had these steel spikes, so that's what I went with. And because nothing goes simple for me, I have to figure out a way to complicate things. I went ahead and made sure that I got this bit stuck. Look at that, I got the hook up on in there. Like really good. I got a feeling I'm gonna break something. I did eventually get it out though. All right. Level. 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 Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Level. Nice. With the perimeter for the greenhouse all nice, square, and level, I took that opportunity to go ahead and run a pipe up underneath there so that I can run water inside the greenhouse and attach it to the line I just previously ran a week or so ago for a drip system. We're currently working on several projects in the yard, so I just happen to have a giant pile of fill dirt in the yard currently. So I seize that opportunity, I'm all about seizing these moments, people, to dump a couple loads of that fill dirt in, and then I spread that out with the shovel, and then I went after that and tamped it all down nice and compact. Then Miss Madison helped me lay down some weed barrier to keep those weeds out. Fortunately for me, a new landscape supply company just opened up recently, so I called and ordered one ton of medium-sized river rock. First, I spread it out with a shovel, and then I moved on to the potato rake, where I finished spreading it out to a nice, even layer. We went with a rock base for the foundation so Kim could water the plants and just let the water go right through to the ground. That brings us to the day of the build. Wow, look at how fast this greenhouse is going together. Wait, did I skip a couple steps? <laughs> of course not. I'm cheating, again. Because this is an easy fit greenhouse shed kit from homesteadsupplier.com. Homestead Supplier contacted me and asked if I would be interested in one of their easy fit greenhouses, to which I replied, Yes, yes, yes! Most of these panels are four feet wide and they are six foot six inches tall and they come neatly stacked on one pallet. If you notice here, the windows are all already hung and the trim is already in place. Make sure you've got someone to help you move the pieces around though because they do have some heft to them. Luckily, I've got the tractor to help us. Plus, Kim is strong like bull. These easy fit greenhouse shed kits come in a variety of sizes and they have floor kits available as well. I'll put a link to homesteadsupplier.com in the description box. I want you to look at what they use, okay? They know quality. What's that? 
Can you see that on camera? Mm -hmm. That is a number two square drive. That's right. Go Canada. Look at you. Look at you getting it all by yourself. You're a big girl. You're a big girl. Here. Now where that goes? Oh, got to turn it the wrong way. Why would you let me turn it the wrong way, Kim? My gosh. My gosh. She almost let me put this in upside down. She has one job, and that's to make sure that I don't screw up. Her only job out here is to make sure that I don't screw up. And she almost let me screw up. She knows I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, look how that lines up so nice down there. Look how that lines up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's like I knew, I mean, I am an idiot, but I still flush. Yeah, I knew what I was doing though. Oh, uh, use wrong screw, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention. Uh, look at that girl power. You go, girl. You go. Why are go you on. that voice? Oh, no. sorry. Okay, now you have to lift that end up. No, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job, Mikey. How that is? See how that's level? No, you gotta get in more. Yeah. Oh, a little over to your left. There you go. See how that's level? Okay. So we know that's good. We're still doing good. See how you get your workout for the day. Oh, don't make that face, Riley. Don't make, don't make that face anymore, okay? <laughs> hey. Hey, relax. Relax. It was at this point that Kim started getting super pushy. I think she was getting a little too excited about her new greenhouse. And I started to feel, you know, a little overworked, to be honest with you. Because we were like, I don't know, 50 minutes into this project. Hello. Hold on, my girlfriend. Hey, how are you doing? Somehow. Somehow or another. Okay, uh, it's not flush. That's not plum. Which one's the right word? Oh, that's not flush, flush and plum? That's not flush. Not flush. Not flush. Well, I made sure to put a bunch of nails down there. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, because you see it on the bottom, it's sticking up on that side. We need to think of leverage and I don't have the proper tools. Okay, it's going to work. Oh, we might, might want to cut this part out of the video. I want to cut this part of the video. Too. No, no, Adam, I'm not going to cut it out of the video because this is a good opportunity to show you that when you run into these situations like this where if your two pieces don't come flush at the top, work from opposite corners. In the last piece that you saw, what I did was I shoved the one corner over, screwed that down, and then I was able to screw the other end down, which tightened everything up. And this is way too complicated. Why am I telling you all this? Anyway, just don't worry about it. Super easy to fix. If you have an issue, corner to corner. Holy guacamole, look at that. Now we're flush up here. Can you see how flush that is? Camera girl. Okay, cool. Can you believe that went that fast? Oh, what, what did that take us? That was like an hour and a half. Hour and a half. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding, we're not done. So I put the top one. But first, lunchtime. Two turkey sandwiches later. With the sides all attached to each other and my belly full, it was time to attach the top plate. And you can easily find which boards are for the top plate because they're marked with TP, as in top plate. Please enjoy this beautiful drone footage I've provided for you of me attaching the top plate. With the top plates installed, it was onto the soffit boards. And these are super easy to put in as well. They have a lip on each side that makes them easy to line up. And I just attached them using the two inch nails provided with the kit. Oh Lord, so there's a breeze. <laughs> the first breeze of the day it feels good. Four more to go. With our rafter structures assembled, it was time to put them in place. In 
the wrong place. Listen, if you've followed my channel for a while, you understand that me and instructions, we don't get along so well, okay? So, I had a bit of a brain fart, okay? Listen, heat stroke and everything, all right? These should not have gone on the end. So now that we've got two of them up, I'm taking the two of them down because these go in the center, not on the ends. Pay attention, folks. With the rafters in place, in their proper place, now I could go ahead and attach the end panels. And these end panels are notched and that's important. And also it makes it easy for you to add the rest of the framing in because it lets you know exactly where to keep everything lined up. No cuts are necessary on the rest of the roof framing because it comes with multiple pieces that are cut to different lengths that once lined up fit perfectly and have the correct overhang. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, did you just see oh, that? Nailed it. That was nailed awesome. It. I'm the world's best backwards driver. <laughs> you working on your backwards? Yeah. Backwards driving? Yeah. Good job. Don't do that, hon. Phew. Obviously, we didn't meet the one-day deadline, all right? However, in my defense, I was one child laborer down because she had an earache. And in fact, due to that earache, we were later starting because Kim had to take her to the doctor. So, but, however, also, it was freaking hot yesterday, okay? We had to take like a couple breaks that were extended so that we didn't, you know, drop dead and all that. So I still think it's possible to do this in one day. However, we will see how today goes to determine that. All right, so rule number two broken. <laughs> uh, I had to use a saw, but it's just for this uh, trim piece on the end. So, you know, still not bad. I don't know if I can actually show this on YouTube. Can I show reloading on YouTube? I don't know. Like... Madison attached the handle to the front door and I moved on to attaching the flashing to the roof. And I'm using the two inch nails once again that are provided with the kit to attach these. The kit comes with these clear roof panels, you know, because you gotta let the sunshine in because, you know, it's a greenhouse. Anyway, the way I did this was I worked kind of from end to end and worked that way because if I didn't mention this already, I really don't like getting up high. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. And I especially don't like being on ladders. By working in sections and putting the cap on as I went down the line, it kept me from having to get on top of the roof once all the panels were on and put the cap on, which I really did not want to do. I'll be honest with you, at this point, the drone wasn't up there to catch footage of me putting it together. It was there to catch me in case I fell, you know, because it's all for the tube, baby. I got to have good footage. Let me interrupt here because it was at this point, after completing the roof, that I did a double backflip off the top of the ladder, nailed the landing, and then the drone crashed. And I was like, it's okay if the drone crashes. I don't care. As long as it got all the footage. <sighs> it didn't get the footage. The memory card was full. You just have to take my word on the backflip. It happened. I mean, just look at the confidence I exude while standing on the no step step on the top of this ladder. Kim clearly has my foot so I don't have to worry about falling. Homestead Supplier gives you the wood and these plastic panels to configure the shelving inside however you want. I threw this little table together for Kim as well, but it's not part of the kit. Hacks Maniacs, how amazing is this Homestead Supplier greenhouse? Kim can't wait to get all her stuff in here. In fact, she's already started. You can easily build this greenhouse in two days or one if you're super awesome. We just have to paint it now. And I'm thinking neon green. No. 
Well, anyway, I think this is the best thing we've done to the garden. If you wanna see the worst thing, watch this video right here and save yourself some money.